then we grabbed some mason jars mm. and uh, painted them. And then we put uh, light bulbs in them. So we use them for storage. Yeah, so and then see, like, just comes out. There's some elastics in there. I drilled a hole through the other side of here, and now this is like a false bottom. Uh, it used to sink. It used to just be right here, but now there's this gap of air where we can run the wiring and the lights for this whole setup. Yeah, so now I can just turn the inverter on. So it's a work in progress always because when we first left we had like three times the amount of stuff and we realized oh wow we don't need any of this and so now we have a quarter of that amount of stuff which makes it much easier and we've found a lot of ways to organize our things so it's like a happier space underneath each left and right side where the benches are there is storage as well this is under the foot side of the bed. There's more storage you can see there. The other storage area under the head of the bed. We've got some tiki torches. This is the actual 60 gallon water tank there, um, which we can, we've got a manual pump. So you just sort of pump it for a minute and there it goes. Yeah, so if you look back there, it's kind of hard to see, but that's our new water pump that we bought in San Diego and it's all installed. There's the switch, maybe Kat can demonstrate. Woo! Oh, hey. Running water. Yeah, That's so before we had solar. to use this manual pump and it kind of sucked and it didn't always work, so. Yeah, but we love it. Mm -hmm, we do. This is our favorite thing, living in this trailer. It's our favorite house ever. Yeah, definitely my favorite house ever. I guess it would be about 54 square feet if you count everything. Yeah, so it's going, six by nine. Yeah, six by nine. Oh, we painted this wall. Oh, yeah. This wall uh, used to be like the usual trailer pretend wood, like veneer, whatever it's called. And a lot of the trailer is like that, so we sort of gave it an accent wall. Oh, we're going to be in this <laughs> shot. Uh, we also painted this whole shelf. The whole shelf er area is not original to the trailer. There was a little table where you can see the heater now, and then a chair on the left and a chair on the right, and it was all mounted in place. And it could also turn into a very narrow single bed for one person if they weren't going to roll around too much in the night. Uh, we ripped all that out back in August 2013 and put this shelf in, uh, which is awesome. And now the shelf is painted sort of a greenish color. We've added that green color to other areas around the trailer, you can sort of, yeah, and there's still a lot of the natural, all the pretend natural wood. But now, like, this is a huge improvement because our bookshelf used to come out to here and we just used an old, um, like a closet storage container. So now we have it where it's tall and it holds almost all of our books. And we have this so that when we're driving, the books don't fall out. Yeah, they're bungee cords. Yeah, the books were all on one level, meaning that they stretched horizontally twice as far as they do now. So now it's like a double-decker bookshelf. And we made this mirror. We used an old mirror that we had that the case around it was broken, and we grabbed two old half frames that were basically garbage and just made that happen. This is where we keep our dishes. Mm -hmm. Down here we just store shoes. Everything and these are all brand new because we found that this trailer wasn't really meant for to endure what we've put it through. So then the cupboards and stuff weren't really closing properly, so we changed them. Here is uh, the brain of the whole operation now. 12.9 volts, sorry. And that's coming off of our solar panel. Well, there's the battery box. There is a battery in there, a 12 volt DC battery. Um, so this is a DC power water pump. Um, and this is yeah. a DC powered light. 
Ding. Ding. Which is amazing because we had no light before other than flashlights. This was a huge, huge upgrade. Mm. And then another huge upgrade, because it's hot and we're in the desert, is a fan that Matt found at a yard sale for $2. Yeah, $2. And so he's wired it up here and wired it down to the battery. And then there's just a switch right here by the bed. Yeah, and the switch is by the bed. So you can wake up and be like, oh, I'm really hot right now. <laughs> We also installed lights. There's one that goes over the sink and mirror, and another one just over our bed for reading. And we just put another switch next to the fan switch. Yeah, this is our power bar, which is connected, it's sort of hidden back there. There's an inverter, which is just an inverter that you can buy anywhere for plugging things into your car while it's running. Um, but we've got it hooked up to the battery. So the inverter uh, is inverting DC power into AC power, 110, uh, so that we can plug things in here. This is where the fridge and the stove used to be, mm -hmm. but they were not really functioning and we didn't use the space. We used to use the fridge for like storage, which stored nothing. So Matt ripped it out and then put in a shelf here. And this means we can use this space um, in a way that makes sense for us. This is also where we get our LP gas line from outside, the propane tanks outside. And then it runs over, and this is our heater, which caused us to not freeze to death uh, for about <laughs> at least one or two months yep. of this trip. Probably the best purchase we've ever made, ever. Yeah. So and that so heats up the whole space right away. For storage... We have a bunch of storage little containers there on that second shelf and we just store different things like toiletries and extras of this and that in our medicine cabinet and then we store like our underwear things over there. There's some more storage down there. And all of these little storage containers up here. Some extras. There's a koala bear. So this is our closet. These are new handles that Matt put in thing we've replaced these here as well found and cleaned up and put new handles in yeah, they they're were much free. better they were free at East Jesus when when I found them they were black but when I cleaned them off yeah. they turned out to be silver so this is about as organized as the closet gets because we've got a lot of clothes because we go through a lot of seasons uh, there's mm -hmm. storage underneath here where the tire wheel is also as well mm -hmm. here these curtains actually used to look like that curtain yeah, it's a little hard to see the difference yeah. because the sun is shining in like in all directions right now. But that curtain is just brown and they weren't very yeah. fun. And we found some material here at East Jesus and we, um, well, I sewed them all on, which took like a long time. But now it's like a coral pink type color and a mm, flower pattern. The top here pops up, but I can pull it down too if I want. Uh. This just makes the difference as to whether I can stand up in here all the way or not. And I'd say the both of us live pretty comfortably in this space. Like, I'm pretty comfortable. I'm pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable. Feels really livable. What do you think, Kat? Is that a good tour? I think it's a good tour.